Hey, Joe here. Saturday morning, time to work in the garage. I got Tony over, and we're going to mess around with some things on my car, and him and I are going to talk about some things for his car. So let's get started. When I started the car last week, I forgot to put water in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first today. I like to use distilled water. It doesn't have any minerals and stuff that can contaminate the cooling system. The track likes it too. I was past the transmission issues thing but I guess I shouldn't be too surprised since I am on a new transmission now that I went through myself but I noticed while the car was running that if you put the car in reverse the wheels will turn you know in reverse but if you put the car in drive it doesn't go anywhere now I actually noticed that last time we started it but I wasn't sure what was going on uh, I don't have anything hooked up to control the transmission right now but the wiring in its current con configuration does go back to the ECU. And who knows what the two outputs that I was going to use from the ECU are sending the solenoids right now. But I don't think that's the problem. Um, the wiring is next on my list. I'm going to put a transmission computer in here from Force 4 that's going to control the transmission. Maybe when I get those wires disconnected, it'll act right. But I think what I need to do is check some pressures. Uh, some more pressures. We've already got pressure to the planetaries. I'm going to move that sensor towards us here on this uh, right here and we'll know converter pressure and then I'm going to use my test gauge underneath the transmission and test the pressure to the clutches and see what they're doing. Alright so let's get this thing changed around so we can log some stuff.
This is leaking a lot. I didn't know this was going to do this. <laughs> I actually don't know what's happening right now. But this thing made a big mess. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so now we're gonna disconnect the other line too. Fingers are too slippery. Come on. Are your fingers too slippery or is your transmission fluid too slippery? <laughs> Wait. Now I just need to move the sensor adapter. Alright, just gotta clean up this mess now, but that's done. Alright, let's start this thing up. those numbers this is a carefully balanced bunch of things up here all right I got this gauge so I can test some of the pressures on the bottom of the transmission um, and then I can report everything I found says to someone who's smart all right we're gonna test rear clutch here first this ports marked RC under here for rear clutch Take this whole thing out of here. Come on. There we go. Alright, and then we got this pressure here to keep an eye on. this from rear clutch to front clutch. All right, we'll go with that and see what we get here. to 150 okay so there's definitely a problem we got no pressure on the rear clutch port down there looks like we had some pressure on the front clutch port um, not too happy about it <laughs> not sure there's any way to deal with that other than pull the transmission again so that's on the list now all right I'm not gonna lie it's Sunday now after the findings Saturday afternoon I just gave up 
sometimes you gotta walk away from it for a minute, you know. It's okay to do that. Come back and fight it later. So here I am. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I did a lot of thinking, obviously, about it after I left the garage yesterday. And um, I have my solenoids plugged in to my harness. And the wires that are on the harness, they go to the ECU. Because at one point, I was gonna have the ECU control the transmission. And I'm thinking it's possible that power or ground could be sent to those outputs, even though I don't even have them configured in the ECU, you know. I, but I don't know what's happening with them, so what I've done is disconnected that because it's supposed to be in third gear with no power or anything to the solenoids. So I can't be sure that I have no power to the solenoids without that disconnected. So I've disconnected that. I'm going to put the gauge back in the RC port, and I'm going to start the car up and check the pressure there and see where I'm at. Okay, so it turns out that that connector was the problem. I don't know what the ECU is sending on those outputs. Those outputs aren't configured currently, but the solenoids didn't like it. It affected them. So what it did was it made it so I didn't get pressure to my rear clutch, which also made it so that my wheels didn't turn in third gear. Something you couldn't see in that video of the gauge showing the pressure was that the wheels were turning. So we're good here. This transmission works. I can move on to wiring in my TCU and a couple other pieces of electronics that need to go on the car. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Put cheese on it. on it. on it.